Jordan? Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Naomi. I'm Jordan Belfort's wife if you don't know who I am. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my makeup for a basic date night. Jordan and I on our first date, this is the look that I wore. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I love to do makeup during the day. But at night I work on my designs. I have an entire line of lingerie, you know, camisoles, bustiers, panties. And at night I work on my designs. I have an entire line of lingerie, you know, camisoles, bustiers, panties. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it and I will talk to you later. All right, so the only thing that I've done so far is just prep my skin a little bit. I use the Mint Julep's Lip Scrub from Lush on my lips and the Hara Mint Lip Balm, as well as the Acure Moroccan Argan Oil. I just put like one pump of this all over my face because I have very dry skin um, when it starts to get cold out. The next thing that you're going to want to do is to prime your skin with a primer. I'm not going to be priming my skin today just because I don't really need the makeup to be long lasting, but if you did want to wear your makeup all day, definitely use a primer. I use the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. It works just as good as any other primer out there. So. Following that, I'm going to do foundation. So I'm kind of in between my summer and my winter shade right now because it is fall time. I'm going to be using the uh, Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation with a little bit of the Tarte Amazon Yen Clay Tinted Moisturizer. And this just gives me a little bit more of like a glowy look where this gives me more of a matte look. So I'm just going to take the back of my hand do just like a pump of the Urban Decay and then I'm just going to add in a little bit of the Tarte Foundation. Right, so now that my foundation is applied, I'm going to go in with a concealer. Um, I like to use the Sonia Kashuk uh, All Covered Up Concealer. Um, it just comes in a little pot, it's just a cream concealer. And I'm just going to use this for my under eyes and I'm gonna use it for a little bit of highlighting in some areas you'll see. And then also just for a few like scar spots or little blemishes. I'm just going to take a, a concealer brush. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. And I'm just going to blend in the concealer in all of those areas. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with a setting powder. I'm going to be using the Sonia Kashuk Undetectable Press Powder and I'm going to be using um, just a small brush and I like to, you know, pat on the powder, tap off the excess and then I do right underneath the eyes. And then I like to take a larger brush. This is a Real Techniques like big fluffy brush and I just tap in there and um, just tap on my entire face. And this is just gonna set the makeup that we've previously applied. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Medium Deep and uh, this Real Techniques brush. Um, it's just kind of like a tapered fluffy brush. And I'm just going to contour a little bit. So I'm gonna do the hollows of my cheeks, um, around my temples, and my jawline, and down my nose. So to contour my nose, I like to use that flawless um, concealer brush from e.l.f. and I just kind of wipe the concealer off and take a little bit of the bronzer and just go down the sides of my nose. Now the way I contour, I like to slim the nose um, just because my nose is a little bit wider. So I just go from the eyebrow all the way down to the end and then I do the right under the tip of the nose. Um, contouring and highlighting is different for every face shape, so you want to make sure that you're contouring the correct way for your face shape. But this is just the way that I do it, and um, yeah. Right, so looking at this picture, it looks like she probably has like a little bit of a rosy, like mauvey blush. So I'm going to be using this e.l.f. blush, which I actually think will be perfect for this. Um, and 
it is the e.l.f. blush in blushing rose and I pretty much use this every day anyways um, but it's perfect for this look so I use a Sonia Kashuk stippling brush to apply this and then I'm really gonna focus on the apples of the cheeks and then kind of bring it up on the actual cheekbones just because that's the way it looks in this picture of her that I have. So the next thing that I'm going to do is my eyebrows and I'm pretty much just gonna do these the same way I do them every day just because um, her eyebrows just aren't anything crazy. They just look very natural like how she always would wear them. I use the Sonia Kashuk, um, what is this? Tinted Brow Gel. It just comes with like a little spoolie and I just go through the eyebrows very lightly So now moving on to the eyes, which are pretty much like the heart of this entire look. Um, I'm just going to be using a little bit of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelids, up to the brow bone. And then very gently just go right under the lash. Alright, so I zoomed you guys in a bit for this part. So we're going to be doing the eyes. So I'm going to be using the Tarte Tartelette palette, which I love. I feel like I use it in every single video that I do because it's my favorite palette ever. And um, I'm going to be starting with this color here, and it's called Super Mom. I'm just going to be taking this Sonia Kashuk like, flat eyeshadow brush and just basically putting this all over the lid, up to the brow bone. And then I'm going to take this Eco Tools um, little like blending, tapered blending brush. I'm going to be taking this light brown shade here, and it's called Wanderer. And I'm just going to be very lightly going in the outer corner of the eye, like that outer V area. And take this bigger Eco Tools, just like fluffy eyeshadow brush, and just go over that quickly, just to make sure that it's all blended out very nicely. And I'm going to be taking this deeper brown shade, it's called Dreamer, it's right there, sorry about the reflection of the gold, it's that shade Dreamer right there. I'm taking that same small taper brush, and again, just doing this same sort of motion. I'm first focusing on this outer corner of the eye. Next, we are going to be taking a little bit of black eyeshadow and very, very carefully doing the lower lash line. So I'm going to be taking this flat eyeliner brush, which is from Eco Tools, and I'm going to be taking the color Fashionista from the Tartelette palette, which basically is just black. Um, it's just a matte black. And I'm just going to go right on the lower lash line. Um, you're going to take a, just like a flat eyeshadow brush or like a really small blending brush, something like that. And I'm just going to take like a mixture of that light and dark brown that I use. And I'm just going to go on the lower lash line right along that eyeliner and just work on very carefully smoking out that black eyeshadow. So it looks like she has maybe like a little bit of a gel or a liquid liner on the upper lash line. So I'm going to be taking the NYX two timer um, eyeliner. One side has like a regular uh, like crown eyeliner and the other side has a felt tip um, like a liquid. I'm just going to go on the upper lash line and I'm going to do this very thin. I'm just going to 
go in with that dark brown eyeshadow and this fluffy brush and just add a little bit more depth to the eye. So I'm just curling my lashes and then I'm going to apply some mascara. And the mascara that I use that I really love is the Pixi, um, I think it's the lengthening mascara, the um, words kind of rubbed off, but um, Pixi is sold at Target and their products are amazing. I love their skincare products as well. And then I'm just going to do the lower lashes and I just kind of like place the mascara on there and just like wiggle it when I do the bottom. So for lips, it looks like she has kind of like a mauve pink color, almost like a little bit reddish. Um, but in some scenes of the movie um, and some pictures that I've seen, it looks like she really doesn't have much on her lips at all. So basically, I'm just going to go in with um, this lip liner from Jordana, which is like $1.50 at Walgreens, very affordable. And this is in Baby Berry. And I'm just gonna apply this like a regular lip liner and then I'm gonna fill it in as if it were the lipstick. And I'm going to make the bottom lip a little bit overdrawn just because her bottom lip is a little bit fuller. of this e.l.f. lipstick in Berry Sorbet and it's just a matte lipstick and I'm just gonna do just a little bit of this. Um, I'm just mixing a few different colors together just so I can get as close as possible to the color that she had on based off of the picture that I'm looking at. So I'm also gonna be using a little bit of e.l.f.'s Rich Red. very small amount of this. All right, so basically that is the entire look. All right, so this is the final look. Do I look good enough to go on a date with Leo? I hope so. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It means so much to me. I've been so happy seeing my subscriber number just go up. It's making me feel so good. And um, if you guys have any video requests, please comment down below or message me on Instagram or tweet me. Um, if you recreate this look, please Instagram or tweet me a picture. I would love to see it. And yeah, if you haven't seen Wolf of Wall Street, definitely watch it. It's hilarious. It's my all-time favorite movie. Um, it has my two favorite actors in it, Leo and Margot. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you have a very happy Halloween. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye. So I was um, a little surprised you asked Christy for my number. What is that? Aren't you married? Well, yeah, but what? Married people can't have friends? I'm gonna be friends. Yeah. You wanna be my friend? We're not gonna be friends. <laughs>